Who? Hot. You know what else is hot? My NFL packs that are on sale now. Uh, actually though, there is 20 of them. Like I said, I didn't get as many as I wanted done because I, you know, wanted to keep more cards than I thought. But 20 of my mystery packs are on eBay right now for sale. $20 is the price and then you do have to pay five for shipping, 25 total. Just works easier that way. You're gonna have to pay for it one way or another. The link to these will be in the description of this video. Also, I'm sorry guys, but if you're not a purchaser of mine and you try to message me on eBay, for one, I'm not gonna get it. And if you are a purchaser and you try to message me with something not regarding the sale or the order, not gonna respond. I appreciate the constant love you guys show me, but I can't get mixed up with people who actually do have issues with their orders and whatnot. Anyway, good luck. Hope you guys enjoy them. All right. Anyway, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Happy Tuesday. So a week ago, I did a video called keep one cut one and today we're just going to do a part two of that since you guys really seem to enjoy it. I also like the videos that get you guys more interactive too. I think it's fun to see your guys' opinions. Like I said, even if I don't respond or react to the comment doesn't mean I don't see it. This should be between 10 to 12 brand new teams, brand new scenarios. One quick thing before we start the video, head over to gfuel.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products, and let's get into Keep One, Cut One, Part Two. Alright, so starting off this list, we've got a team that I really don't have any interest in, so I feel like it'll be fun. Who are we going to keep on the New York Giants between Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones? <laughs> a gun? Shit, man, it really depends on what you're looking for here. Do you think Danny's actually going to be a great passer? Or do you think Saquon can still be, you know, the Saquon that you drafted? I'm probably going to honestly weirdly keep Daniel Jones. You know, is as much shit as I've talked about that fucking guy, and I mean I've talked a lot of shit. He's never thrown more picks than touchdowns in a season. He's been close, but he hasn't done it. And the Giants don't typically seem to have more success when Danny's not there versus when he is. Saquon, on the other hand, it looks like the Giants often do better recently when they use a backup than Saquon. It's close, but I'm taking Danny. Moving on, we'll stay in the NFC East and we will go to Philadelphia. This one's a little bit tough. I didn't like making it. Jalen Hurts or Devontae Smith, one of them can't stay. Oh, you know, I have love for Jalen and I have love for Devontae. I think he had a very, very underrated season that was just overshadowed by a certain someone else named Jamar Chase. I don't want to get rid of either of them here, but if I had to only keep one, I I'm, I'm still going to roll with Jalen. I think Jalen's a game changer. I think Jalen's arm is great. I think his legs are very useful. Useful. You've got AJ Brown over there now. If you lose Devontae Smith, you're not going to be shaken. If you lost Jalen Hurts, what the fuck are you going to do? Thankfully, this is not a real scenario though, so we don't actually have to worry about this problem. Up next, we go to Tampa Bay, and this one is Tristan Wirfs or Vita Vey. Are you a defensive guy or are you an offensive guy? Vita Vey did miss some time early in his career, but ever since he's been healthy, he's been dominant. And if you're asking me, Tristan Wirfs is probably the best offensive tackle in football right now. Arguably, of course. But if I had to pick between the two, I I'm taking Tristan Wirfs. People really, really don't understand the importance of a good offensive line. And they really don't understand how good one offensive lineman can make an entire offensive line. Next scenario, we go to Cleveland, and this is one I think I've said previously, but Deshaun Watson's probably not going to play this year, so we're not going to include him. So, Miles Garrett or Nick Chubb? One's got to go, and I hate this one so much. So, if Wyatt is making the decision, I'm keeping Nick Chubb. If an NFL executive who's building a team is making the decision, they're probably going to take Miles Garrett, and rightfully so. There isn't a wrong decision here. You guys know how I feel on Nick Chubb. I think he is legitimately the best running back in football right now. But Miles Garrett, he's up on the totem pole with Aaron Donald and TJ Watt when it comes to somebody that you just can't fucking stop. You can't top. The foundation starts with the guy who's going at the quarterback's fucking throat. Miles Garrett, if I'm being smart. Moving on, let's go to the Ravens, and we've got a player coach scenario. Lamar Jackson or Johnny Bones Harbo? I don't know why I said Johnny Bones. People are going to want to fight the fuck out of me for this, but all right, I'm taking John. So let's, let's get it out of the way. I know I say it in every video I talk about Lamar. He wins his fucking games. But coincidentally, you know who else wins a lot of fucking games? John Harbo. 
148 wins and 96 losses, including the postseason for his career. Whether you have Lamar, whether you have Tyler Huntley, whether your secondary is healthy, whether your secondary is fucking garbage. I do think, much like Mike Tomlin, this guy is responsible for this team staying in it. Now, Lamar helps out for sure. But if you take John off of the Ravens versus if you take Lamar out of the Ravens, I'm almost willing to bet they would win more games if they kept John. Up next, we'll stay in the purple. We got the Minnesota Vikings. Kirk Cousins or Delvin Cook? <laughs> a lot of you guys are like, what are you thinking about? Delvin Cook is a top five running back, because he is. But he also never plays a full fucking season. And you gotta remember the reason Justin Jefferson is doing so good, he's even admitted it, is because of Kirk. We've seen the Vikings without Delvin. We've seen Madison play. Kirk has always been there for us. So I really don't know what the fuck we would look like without him. I'm not gonna take any chances. I I'm, I'm gonna take Kirk. I love you, Delvin, and this is no disrespect, man, but I think Kirk is way more durable, and I think your backup can get your job done. Not as efficient as you, but he can get the job done. <laughs> All right, next scenario, the Arizona Cardinals, Kyler Murray or DeAndre Hopkins? You can only keep one. Who is it gonna be? How old's D-Hop? He's 30. Kyler Murray, it's a wrap. I'm not taking a fucking 30 year old guy. I know he's very talented, but I'm not taking him. Plus this year, you're not gonna be available for what, the first six games anyway? All right. Kyler Murray still has that A-plus potential in him, hey. He's still young, he's still developing. Do I think he's overrated, though? Oh yeah, as of right now, he is. But I would keep him in this scenario. <laughs> Moving on for the Denver Broncos, we've got keep one, cut one, Javante Williams or Justin Simmons? Uh... Man, I love Javante, and I've been talking him up so much, but I do think Justin Simmons has been, like, one of the best safeties in the league. He's getting up there, though. He's probably 27, 28 years old. I mean, can't really go too far back on what I just said about D-Hop, but then again, Justin Simmons isn't going to miss half a season either. I wouldn't like to do this, but I think I would keep Justin Simmons. Him and Pat Sertain in the secondary, it makes it very, very deadly. We know Javante Williams is fantastic, but Melvin Gordon can get the job done. Russell Wilson's going to be your quarterback. You're fine on offense there. Javante, get out! Moving on, we got the Patriots. Damian Harris or Matthew Judon? I love Damian, but dude, Mondre Stevenson's pretty good. Matt Judon was, I mean, he's been good. He was really fucking good last year. What, he almost had 13 sacks? Another one that I, I don't think there's really a, a wrong choice here, depending on how much you plan to use Damian Harris, but I think I gotta keep Judon. He was disruptive. Really, really disruptive last year. He was fucking annoying, I won't lie. I think he leaves your defense. There's a massive hole. Damian Harris leaves your offense there. You're still okay. Moving on, we go to the wonderful city of New Orleans. Why don't we pick between Elvin Kamara or Michael Thomas? I wanted to throw Cameron Jordan in here, but he's old as fuck. You know, um, I'm gonna take Kamara just because we've seen how useful and how much of an asset he has been in recent years. Not that Michael Thomas hasn't been one of the better receivers when he's playing healthy, but he hasn't been present for the last two seasons, essentially. I think anybody with a brain here is gonna continue to take the guy who has been producing versus the guy who hasn't been around. Kamara, stay in. Michael Thomas, you're out. All right, next up, we got the Green Bay Packers. Another one I wish Devontae Adams was around for, but I guess we'll do uh, Aaron Jones or Kenny Clark. That might be too easy. Jair or Kenny Clark, I guess? I would pick Kenny Clark over Aaron Jones. Jair would be a little bit tougher, but that wasn't the original scenario, goddammit. This, this just got fucked up. <laughs> uh, I would definitely go Kenny Clark over Aaron Jones, and I'd probably go Jair over Kenny Clark, but I do think Kenny Clark is a fucking machine. Is there anybody who would take Aaron Jones over Kenny Clark? I understand the second scenario is more difficult, more debatable, but we know the Packers are good without Aaron Jones. They can succeed with A.J. Dillon. I think their defense is gonna play a heavy role in their success this year, considering their offense is crippled. I'm not getting rid of Kenny Clark in that situation. Okay, sorry about the little mix-up on the last scenario. I just didn't feel like it was good, and I had to try and fix it. But we got the Jets now. This is going to be interesting. Garrett Wilson or Brees Hall? You can only keep one. We've never seen either of them play in the NFL yet. Hmm. Garrett Wilson staying. Brees Hall, you're gone. I just talked about him in, like, last week's video. Michael Carter, we know he can play. The one thing the Jets have been absolutely scraping for the last, like, four goddamn seasons has been a receiver. So, you're keeping your receiver here. Not only is he gonna help the offense as a whole, but he's gonna help Zach Wilson in the process. You're definitely not gonna prioritize your running back there. Okay, and that is it for Keep One, Cut One, Part Two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post every single day. Let me know your picks. Let me know who you agreed with. Let me know who you disagreed with. With everything I just said, though, guys, I'm gonna hop off and get this shit edited so you guys can watch it on time. I hope you guys do dive into the packs. Have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. And as always, I will see you in the next video.